Hello. Was it you who rang the Bell of Awakening? I am the Primordial Serpent, King Seeker Frampt, close friend of the Great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the Bell of Awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? Very well. Then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. Those who seek the realm of lords must brave Sen's fortress, a deadly house of traps. Many have gone before you, but none have returned. Fate has chosen you, but proceed with caution. Farewell, chosen undead. I remain here and await thee. Sand's Fortress is an old proving grounds built by the ancient gods. It is the only route leading to the great Anor Londo. Of course, most fools can't even find their way into that fortified death trap. But they won't stop trying. Take that bumbling Saranyan! <laughs>
Oh, ah, where did you come from? Splendid news, I tell you. <laughs> ah, so you see my plight. Yes, indeed. I've run up against a wall, or a ball, to be precise. I'm afraid I'm a bit too tough to be up running those things. So here I sit in quite a pickle, but who knows? Perhaps we'll have another development. <laughs> Perhaps I could try some rolling. Bah, no chance. My head would spin. Hmm. You seem quite lucid. A rare thing in these times. I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old and empty-handed, but I could repay you with knowledge and sorcery. This place is melting my mind. The inactivity is repressive. Oh, heavens. Thank you. I'm saved. And I'd love to resume my travels, but I must log a few things first, and I owe you a favor. I will return to Firelink Shrine. Speak with me there, so that I may impart my sorcery. Don't mind me, go on ahead. I'll be along later. Whoa, I'll be just fine, young man.
Oh, what? What? Who, who are you? Ah, another undead, eh? I took on Sen's fortress alone, but I'm no different from those vile creatures. I was driven by conceit. Ah, you think you're different? That you can handle it? Yes, I, I remember that feeling. For I was the same. So, let me help you out with your soul searching. Let me give you a nibble of advice. Don't even consider visiting Anor Londo. Not in your state. For a century they've tried and failed. The Night King Rendell, Black Iron Tarkas, and even Logan himself. You won't stand a chance, you'll be eaten alive. But go along if you wish, if only to deepen your despair. There's nothing more to say. I'm finished. We're both on the brink, you see. End of story. You bloody fool. There you go, another brave soul. But soon you shall see. You and I are no different. Yeah, yes, you, you soon shall see the putrid fates we both share. Where do I get all my things? I'm stripped off the corpses of fools like yourself. It isn't easy, I have to catch them just before they go hollow. Oh, don't worry, I'll be there to claim your trinkets, gazing at your final twisted grimace. <laughs>
You are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anorlondo, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. If you require rest, now is the time. That is, after all, what the bonfire is for. Hmm, what is it? What am I? Well, I am the keeper of the bonfire. If not for me, what beacon would there be in this lost city? A gatekeeper and a guide. That is my calling. The bonfires attended by the keepers are special. They are linked to one another, and their flames never die. Yet never shall the keepers of these flames meet.
There you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> Thank you. 
be done. Ah, you again. Let me guess. Were you repelled by the Silver Knights? Ah, oh, don't be ashamed. It is the fate of vanguards like you and I. I'll think of something. We can overcome this together. This is quite a fix. We'll need another three, no, maybe five bodies. Hmm, quite a fix indeed. Those monsters? Fantastic! I'm saved! This knight of Katarina hereby commends you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. But be warned, gallantry entails great risks. Next time, give me a chance to come up with a plan.
forge your weapons? Hmm. Hello, forge I can. Strong I am. Talk. Tis no good, but forge very good. I help any time. Talk. Tis no good. No one home. Everyone gone. But you, friend, you talk. I no talk, but happy. Shiny, shiny. Get shiny from Duke. Forge weapons. Make shiny more happy. Come it soon. I thought you were wiser, but I thought wrong. Tis a terrible pity, like a moth flittering towards a flame. You fellow, no? Don't you agree? <laughs>
journeyed far and overcome much chosen undead. Come hither, child. O oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day Father is formed it obscureth, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. Once living, now undead, and a fitting heir to Father Gwyn thou art. O chosen undead, and beseech thee, succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheriteth the fire of our world, a grave and arduous test of metal, yea, it shall be. Indeed, we had felt the warmth of fire, its radiance and the life it sustaineth. Without fire, all shall be a frigid and frightful dark. Please, Father's role thou should assume, and inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt endeth this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. King Seeker Prout, the primordial serpent, shall guideth thee. Hereafter I, Guinevere, shall serve it as thine guardian. If thou so needest, I shall devote all to thine safety. May thou be one with the sunlight forevermore. Hmm. So you have received a revelation. Very auspicious. I hope for the best. I pray that through you, her wish will be granted. Heavens! You have done it! You have retrieved the Lord Vessel! After a thousand years, it is you! It is really you! <laughs> Forgive me. I really should calm down. As Kingseeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls, commensurate to the great soul of Gwyn. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the Four Kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul. And Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. The beings who possess these souls have outlived their usefulness, or have chosen the path of the wicked. As the primordial serpent, I implore you to defeat them and claim their souls. Let there be no guilt. Let there be no vacillation. Forgive me, I was just pondering about my poor fortune. I did not find my own son, not in Anor Londo, nor in Twilight Blight Town. 
Where else might my son be? Lost Isolith, or the tomb of the Grave Lord? But I cannot give up. I became undead to pursue this. 